I've always been a person that had to do something to better the world or better an animal or a person. So, you know, of course this makes me feel very good, what I'm doing. How it would make me feel if I didn't do something, um, that's really the question. I thought it was really um, just a disgrace what happens to them. So I got involved in trying to repurpose them. And that's how the foundation started. If there's nowhere for them to go, where do they go? Uh, well, a few will come to us um, and we will repurpose them, get them under saddle. And you know they'll do any kind of riding you show them how to do. They're very willing. If it wasn't for the foundation, uh, these horses would have another terrible step in their life. When a horse comes in, um, actually from what we call these kill pens on the slaughter line, we quarantine them first. Uh, we try to get weight on them because uh, most of them are emaciated. We evaluate them right away to see if they're in pain. Um, so they get about a month off and then they come to the main facility and uh, we start working with them at that point uh, to get them under saddle. And then we put them up for adoption. There's no government grants, there's no industry grants um, to help in this effort. And because of COVID, um, you know, things have really slowed down and our fundraising events have all been canceled. So we are really struggling. Some of these horses have earned big purses on the racetrack and now they're losing their lives. They need help and we have to get veterinarians out and blacksmiths and we still have to buy feed and hay. Nothing's changed. The bills are still there. The horses still need to eat. Our hope was that the industry would get on board to do something along the lines of what we do. I'm not sure that's ever gonna happen. Where do we go from here? It's hard to say.